we have a, another Scotiabank Girls Hockey Fest in Ottawa and you know this is where the program started so many years ago and it's always great to come back and you know just an opportunity to to get 300 girls out on the ice and have some fun and uh, you know basically just some introduce some girls to the game of hockey and just kind of maintain those that have played before their love of the game. I think it's an awesome representation of what the girls can become, you know, with the hard work, dedication, commitment, passion that she, you know, instills. It just trickles down to the kids and then they think, oh, wow, um, I can go from where I'm at to where I can become. So I think it's pretty awesome. Well, for me, it was the Eddie Shack Hockey School and it was my friend Steph Slade and I were the only two girls in the whole program. and. Um, we didn't think anything different, we just had a really good time, but you know, I think it's fun for girls to go to a hockey school where they get an opportunity to hang out with their own peers and you know, maybe you know, meet someone for the first time and you know, they become friends for life through the sport of hockey. So things have definitely changed since I've grown up and uh, it's grown and that's exactly what you want to see. You know, Scotiabank has been an amazing partner and um, you know, not only have they done the Scotiabank Girls Hockey Fest, but they were a huge supporter of our league, the Canadian Women's Hockey League. And, you know, they've always really stepped up and, and put their money where their mouth is and they've supported women's sports and, you know, over a million kids across the country and a lot of them are girls, you know. So uh, it's been really, I've been fortunate to work with them for such a long time and, and I'm a proud teammate. You know, I guess I was fortunate enough to come around at the right time where there weren't too many women in, in hockey and broadcasting and, you know, we had many like Brenda Irving in the past and Christine Simpson and Martine Guyard and, you know, there were so many women. Um, but to be able to do color and analysis in the NHL building and you know now you see so many female hockey players joining it and they're intelligent, they're educated, they work hard and, and I think that's why they're successful and you know if I helped open a door that's great but they're, they're pretty successful people and they're driven and you know they want to do well at their job and that's why they are successful. I just think it's going to grow and grow and grow and um, you know hopefully one day we have a professional women's league. We haven't seen one yet but hopefully we We'll get one and, and I believe it's more imminent than it's ever been before and, and hopefully these girls can grow up and aspire to play in the WNHL. You know, I think that's the thing with young girls growing up now is they believe they can do anything and there's so many choices in front of them. You know, they don't feel as many boundaries as maybe my generation or the generation before me did. And, you know, that, that's great to see that they're strong and they're powerful and, and they can see a bright future for themselves in anything that they choose to do.